Hi, this is Manesh, and this week I want to share with you four profiles that I do not recommend hiring. And I want to go into that in a minute here with more detail. Uh, but you know, you're, you'll come across a lot of different profiles, and they're all good people. I'm not saying anything about the people themselves. It doesn't mean the profile is a bad person or anything like that. But you are hiring for a reason. You are hiring to get the most out of the person to fit that job. And there are certain profiles which will really not work in your work environment if you have a small team of uh, professionals or staff members and you don't really have a huge corporation. Okay, so if you have small branches or you have two, three, four, five, ten, even twenty or thirty people, uh, this profile types that I'm going to discuss with you, you should stay away from. Okay, so let's say. You like the person in the interview, you like the resume, but then you do the uh, disk assessment and this thing comes out. And what that is, is what I will share with you. So let me give you some scenario of understanding of looking at disk profile when you're hiring people. Now, you know very well that there are four types, D, I, S, and C. And people could be any one of those or a combination of those. Now, I'll tell you that I like people on my team to be a combination of those, not any one type at all. So let's say you like somebody and they turn out to be very high D and the rest are all below 50. Okay. Uh, or you pick somebody and that person is very high I and everything else is below 50. You pick somebody again, you find somebody who is a very high S, but D, I and C are below 50. Or the last case would be the C is pretty high and the DIS are below 50. What that means is that person is going to be inflexible. That person is going to be not easy to deal with because their strengths also become their weaknesses. And their weaknesses become so pronounced that they cannot adjust with the environment. In a small staff team, what I recommend is to have a combination, two and maybe three, depending on the type of the roles that the person has. Because what that does is makes the person flexible enough to work with different types of people, different types of tasks, and they're usually easy to get along with. The people who have very high pronounced one dimensional, so to speak, profile, so let's say only D or I or S or C, any one only, then what happens is their focus is so much on that particular behavior style, they don't even know that their weaknesses are too many in that area. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that. So if the person is very high I and there is no other like D, S and C are below 50, this person is going to be so much fun to talk to except they may not get the work done. Okay. They will be talking too much. They won't be focused on the task at hand. They will be selective in their listening and very likely very disorganized as well. Well, that could drive you crazy. I'm sure you understand that. Okay. And they can be very fun to talk to in an interview. They might impress you when you meet them at a networking event or other places. So my recommendation is if you have a very high D and no other like IS and C above 50 or the other ones, uh, just stay away from that. So anyway, I hope this helps you and gets you more understanding of what I buy. I pick a combination of two or three rather than just pick one type of person to work with in your work environment. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you or talking to you soon. Bye bye.